Hey, what's up? My name is Matt. I'm here to try to help you solve any Unity issues you have with integrating Xbox Live. Uh, it looks like the tool plugin uh, was abandoned about a year back, uh, but you can still get it working, I think, with a little bit of legwork. Um, so hopefully this tutorial saves you the hassle that I had to go through. Um, because I really did not find many solutions online, so I figured write this down and pass it along. So let's go ahead and get this started. It is pre-recorded, so but it should have everything you need. So to start, all you have to do is download the official plugin from the Unity GitHub um, or the Xbox Live GitHub, and then go to go ahead and import it. So custom package, wherever you downloaded it, and import. You can leave everything checked off. All right, so right off the bat, there's gonna be a ton of compiler editors, uh, compiler errors. Uh, for here, it's just gonna be repeat um, DLL files. Pretty much, uh, it loads three of the same file in various places, and the compiler only wants one of them. Um, so we'll go ahead and rectify that. Everything in the Xbox Live libs, Unity Editor, Net35, pretty much want to disable these, so get rid of them. Don't delete them, you just want to just disable them. And the net 461, that was one of the duplicate ones. And then here, uh, that's the actual <clears throat> uh, DLL you'll need to run these, the Xbox scripts. So here, disable this one. Yep, so down it is two. Here's the plugin you'll need for in the actual uh, application itself, not the editor. All right, so here's the association wizard. Um, this is where you're supposed to be able to connect it to your your uh, creator um, account, but this tool is completely broken. So you can try to sign in, it'll just error out every time. Not really a huge deal. Um, you can just manually connect this information later on, but um, it's gonna cause problems, so we pretty much need to disable it. So there's one of the ones that was causing an error earlier, so just disable all of them again. <clears throat> now select all of these other ones. You just do this all at once. So you want to select everything but that uh, one you've already disabled. All right. Now, still gonna have a bunch of errors um, when you try to run it, but that's normal. Now we'll see what they are. Okay, yep. So we'll go ahead and check a few settings. Let's see. So you wanna make sure you're uh, actually running for UWP and I set the API level to net 4x to get you the latest stuff, um, and it should be compatible with all the older ones anyways. 
And then we also want to make sure external tools is pointing to Visual Studio. I'll close out and reopen. Um, a lot of the scripts that this uses are native scripts, which require you to reload um, if you make any changes to it. So we'll pop back in. All right, looks like I missed one of them. Um, this one's gonna be in the actual plugins folder. So if we go to assets, plugins, x64, we'll go ahead and uh, enable this for the editor. and disable it for the actual build. That one won't matter. So we'll close out and open it back up and that should hopefully clear out all the compiler errors. All right, there we go, they're all gone now. Just a lingering error that Visual Studio Editor package is up, uh, out of date, not a big deal. All right, now after this uh, that reboot, we can see that the Xbox Live button's actually there. Um, <clears throat> this is, you can see you can launch the Association Wizard, but like we showed earlier, it's broken. So you want to open a new configuration and edit it. So everything in here you should be able to find on your career portal. Um, so you should be able to find that other tutorials, but one of the key aspects that I had to track down was there's an additional line we have to add. Um, otherwise it doesn't actually work. So right below sandbox, we're going to go ahead and return and add this field. Um, without it, for some reason, doesn't want to work. I don't know why the tool doesn't automatically add it, but um, you're going to want to put that in there and then save it. All right. Now for actually setting this up to work, we're just going to do basic, just the actual uh, login prompt. Um, so you drag over the Xbox Live services. Anytime you're using any of these prefabs, you're going to need that in your scene. Um, so then we'll drag the player auth. Simple button, you just click it, and it logs you into the Xbox Live service. So in the editor, it'll give you fake data. Um, so it's a good test to like get the flow of how you want your application to be, but you're not actually accessing Xbox Live services. So it's not really a good test to actually test it. get to build it out. So we'll go ahead and Build settings. You see we do have UWP targeted. Uh, those settings shouldn't matter. We'll just go ahead and build it. And you want to make sure you have at least some scenes selected if you're starting fresh.
All right, now that it's built, go ahead and open the solution. All right, so in this project, there's another file we need to edit. So we'll go ahead and track that down. So right click it, open folder in File Explorer or open file folder explorer. And it's going to be package.apx manifest. So you want to edit that in whatever text editor you want. All right, so in the properties, I'm going to add this line. So without this line, um, the login function isn't going to work on Xbox. Uh, this is another pain point. I couldn't find anything on this. I happened to stumble across some blog post somewhere where someone tried this and it helped them. So I tried it out and it seemed to work for me. Um, so you'll definitely want to get this added. Without this, I'll say the login on a Windows build of this but the Xbox build did not work. All right, let's go ahead and clean the solution. I personally just set this to master and then X64. Um, not sure how much that matters. You can probably use release too. But we'll go ahead and run it. This part's gonna be a little bit sped up because it's not really that relevant, it could take a couple minutes, so. All right, so here's the dummy game. Go ahead and log in. So this is going to fail um, just because we didn't actually fill out any of that configuration. Um, but you can see it connecting to the service, trying to log in, and it'll throw us the error saying it couldn't. Uh, it was either disabled or incorrectly configured, which obviously we didn't configure it. But I'll throw a clip here at the end. Um, I just did this in my own personal project. So here's a clip of it actually in action. Um, right now I just have a basic login um, stat generator and then a leaderboard for that stat. So you can see my Xbox Live username pop up in the top right. And then here's the leaderboard of a stat I generated earlier. So all in all, once you have a process down, it's relatively easy. But with how little documentation is out there, this has been kind of a pain in the butt to figure out. So I really hope that this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, if I missed anything, um, I did kind of piecemeal this together after the fact. So it may be a little confusing, but I hope it wasn't. Um, it was straightforward enough to follow. But feel free to let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them.